nickel cadmium battery, the anode used this cadmium and cathode used this uh, a grid of nickel with packing of nickel dioxide. The chemical reactions taking place in a nickel cadmium battery can be explained like this. At anode, cadmium reacts with uh, hydroxide OH- to give cadmium hydroxide and two electrons. At the cathode, nickel oxide reacts, takes up these two electrons to form nickel hydroxide and of course to OH- ions. See, this cadmium hydroxide and nickel hydroxides are solids. They are precipitates produced during this uh, discharging mode. So, once you are able to dissolve this in the recharging mode, you can recharge this battery. So, the net reaction, cadmium sulphide, nickel oxide, of course, plus water to give cadmium hydroxide, nickel hydroxide with the energy. When this is reverted back, we will get the recharge reactions. See, the total recharge reaction can be written like this. Cadmium hydroxide plus nickel hydroxide plus, of course, electrical energy to give back cadmium solid. This is the recharging reaction, net reaction that is taking place in a nickel cadmium battery. So, therefore, nickel cadmium battery is also recharged using an external source. So, important applications, nickel cadmium battery is so small compared to our lead storage battery. So, therefore, this rechargeable battery can be taken away to any place. It is portable, small, lighter and the volt that we can obtain from this nickel cadmium battery is 1.4. The disadvantage, it is rather expensive and the cadmium in this battery is toxic. Uses, we use in calculators, flashlights, torches, in any electrical appliances we can make use of this nickel cadmium battery. Now we pass on to lithium ion battery which is the latest development in rechargeable battery. See in fact lithium ion battery or lithium battery is mainly used for cell phones and laptops. So lithium ion batteries of course you know this is a lithium ion battery that you use in cameras, cell phones and laptops. This is a simple one. The voltage of this lithium ion battery is 3.7 volts. It is a solid state battery. No liquid is used here. Therefore, it can be very easily carried. It can be used anywhere. It is leak proof. The important components of a lithium ion battery can be drawn like this. This is the simplest arrangement of a lithium ion battery. In this battery, we have lithium and manganese dioxide is present here and this is the anode and this is the cathode. In cathode, we have electrical connection also. This is a solid polymer which allows the passage of lithium ions only. They cannot allow the passage of electrons. So, during a chemical reaction at anode, lithium forms lithium plus ion and an electron. At cathode, this MnO2 takes up this lithium plus and an electron to form LiMnO2 a solid. In, at anode, oxidation takes place, loss of electron, oxidation. At cathode, reduction takes place, electrons are consumed, it forms LiMnO2 solid. The net chemical reaction can be written like this. In the discharge mode, the overall reaction is lithium reacts with MnO2 to form LiMnO2 plus energy. So, what happens during the production of electrons, 
lithium ion can move towards the cathode through the solid polymer and electrons can move out of the <coughs> uh, lithium battery by an external circuit. The electrons move out of the electron circuit by producing, uh, therefore they produce electricity. And in the recharge mode, the reverse reaction takes place. As there are no liquid produced in this lithium ion batteries, they are safe to use. So coming to the applications, they are used in cell phones, laptops, cameras, all digital cameras. And the advantage is easy to carry. They can be used for uh, various purposes. The disadvantage is, disadvantage is it is rather expensive. So this is all about lithium ion battery.